Ah, it's time for another order of the sillies, but first we're gonna have a look at Steve Pennington's jester status. And with a poll of 170 votes, 78% telling me he is a jester in the order of the sillies, he shall indeed become a jester in the order of the sillies. I do hope you enjoy your stay, Mr. Pennington. And let's see what you guys came up with in the comments. Google, you there? Yep, Radical. So, let's see here. We've got Scythe with a Y telling us that he looks like a genie that it I'd wish would go away. And <laughs> well, he does look like a genie. Maybe you can we can rob a lamb and put him back in the lamb. Also, surf. Scythe. Surf. No, that's Scythe. Well, no, it's not. Yes, it is. You dare question me? Damn straight, I question everyone. Tread carefully. I cannot allow you to do that, Radical. <laughs> What's up next, Google Girl? Globber Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Did you just go British on me? Oh, you. So, anyway, she says people like Steve Pennington demand Globe Earth evidence, which they summarily dismiss while demanding Globe Earth evidence. They then make up spiffy stories and stuff that make sense to them to justify the Earth not being a globe. This is why they will forever be willfully ignorant. Well, I tend to agree with most of that, apart from the spiffy stories. I think we have have the spiffy stories, right? Yup, yup. So does Rex Kennedy. Look at that man. Take a long look, then utilize internet and Google to look for Zippy the Pinhead and say what you think. Huh. Oh my. Yeah. That's something. Well, thanks for that, Rex. I mean, holy hell. Let's move on to good old Big Keg. He says, the firmament is a dome, supposedly, and an arch is part of a dome. Keeping it simple, how can an arch show the whole sky? I'm so confused. I might be eligible for the sillies. Well, we've all got a bit of silly in our system, so that is not enough to be a jester in the order of sillies. You actually have to be unaware of being a silly, and then you promote. To it yesterday. So I think you're in the clear, big keg. Pretty sure he is. We've got Lucas Tulloch saying, Oh, he skipped a week all right of his medication. <laughs> Damn straight. Well, there's a possibility he, uh, I don't know. He has a weird little snicker he constantly does. I don't know what that is about. Must be a tick. Maybe he needs some Joker gas. Anyway, thanks for those spiffy comments, Surf, Global Mom, Rex Kenny, Big Keg, and Lucas Tule, as well as all the other spiffies in there. Thanks to Google Girl, and uh, let's move on to Bev. Let's see if he's gonna try to think, hmm? Yeah, good luck with that, Radical. I'm Google Girl, and I'm out. Did you just do a Team Skeptic outro? <laughs> yeah, because I knew that was gonna happen. Is everyone just turning against me? What the hell is going on here? Hey, Bev, start thinking. Right, I'm gonna post a picture in the side chat. Sweet. Side chat? Is this your best proof? Where's the side chat gone? I think he means at the side of the thing. So for a man who doesn't understand what level is in correlation to being flat and horizon doesn't even actually understand what horizon is and why we have an horizon, you don't even understand that there is a side chat at the side of the thing. I mean, in Discord, that's not really a side chat. That's the actual chat. Okay, never mind. It's gonna be stupid. <laughs> also, check out B-Ball for Life. He's actually talking to these cretins in their Discord. I'll be sure to link up in the description to his channel. Side of the thing. Yeah, he just means at the side. Yeah, you know, right next to the stuff. Well, the office club dyke. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! No, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My word. Uh, let's just say Afsluit Dyke. It's not Afsluitstuster. What the hell did you even say? That was a noise that I don't even know how to make. And we're Dutch. We know how to make all the noises. Anyway, let's let's put this into context. Because uh, after my stream last week, where I was going on about what I'm going to do with my P1000, link in description, to scare the flurfs a little bit, you know, looking behind the horizon that is not as explainable by flat earth logic. Well, that's uh, kind of a oxymoron, isn't it? Anyway, after I did my stream, there was a silly little comment by MC Scorpio. Don't worry, I'll translate it for you because it is in Dutch. Here he says, do you live in the Netherlands? And are you familiar with the Afsluitdijk? To which I replied, no, I never heard of that. Now you gotta keep in mind that the Afsluitdijk is one of the more famous things we've built, so everyone knows about it, you know? It just so happens to be one of the more important parts of our country to, you know, prevent our country from flooding, so everyone knows about it and this guy assumes I don't know about it. Which makes this Twitter debacle even more ironic, because he obviously did not watch my stream, while he did draw a conclusion somehow. Now I have plans for the Afsluitdijk and ha ha ha, are gonna cry. 
And then he actually goes on, assuming I have no idea what the Afsluitdijk is. He actually asked me what I'm going to prove about the Netherlands. Now, the Netherlands is quite flat, but if you want to know, watch the stream. Also, there's an insult in there with a stupid smiley face again, you know. As usual, flurfs are kind of flurf. And yeah, hey, Bev, I did use the word flat, but not your definition. I mean, you like to play the definition game. It's all you do. That's good, that, though, isn't it? The C, I think, is that the one with the C on one side, right? And uh, a lake on the other? No, uh, it was the sea, wasn't it? Sea on the right. Um, and, yeah, and they've and made a dike out of it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I've, I've driven across flooded. that. Yeah. Well, technically, it's not really a dike. It's like a water filtration system as well, because we have gates in it, so the fresh water in the lake uh, still can mix with the salt water in the sea. So, you know, it's an uh, ecosystem protection system as well. Alongside fish being able to migrate through it from the Waddenzee to the Isomere and vice versa but so far so good apart from the little numbers on the screen there because that is so wrong cool 23 miles 109 meters of hidden 107 oh have you been you, have you, you been playing with the fantasy it. calculator yeah i couldn't wait i was going to have a little bit of fun haven't you <laughs> the childlike behavior of these people. I mean, it's funny and silly at the same time. Growing old is just nature doing its work. Growing up, however, that requires a choice. So let's continue to have a look at their claims right there. But first of all, do you see a problem with this picture? I mean, it says right there, spot on level claims it is 23 miles. And because of that, 107 meters should be hidden. Now, why is he mixing the Imperial and the metric system in... I don't even... Oh boy, that's just... It pisses me off to no extent, I don't know why. Also, the picture is taken from an elevation using a quadcopter, obviously. The middle part is not even registering on the picture because there's a little island thing in the middle. Uh, it's not visible, so I'm guessing it's around 50 meters in elevation. Maybe even less, because you can't see the middle thing. So let's have a look at the actual value, shall we? So the straight part is 22.62 kilometers, or 14.06 miles. Now, if we add the little bendy bit, that's gonna go up to... 29.27 kilometers or 18.19 miles. Once again, flurfs are gonna flurf. So furthermore, let's put these values into a fancy magical bendy calculator, as Bev calls it, or something along those lines. I don't really listen to Bev. He always talks like nonsense, and he's a Twitter flurf after all, so I'm not even sure he's gonna get into the order of the sillies. Let's have a look, shall we? But first, we need to have some proper values. Now, the visible part is around this, and I'm being lenient here. See the little island part at the bottom left? That is not visible, but I'm actually including it in what's visible according to what that picture actually shows. Now, that would be 14.14 kilometers, or 8.79 miles. However, we're completely going to ignore this shorter distance, just to be extremely lenient to the flurfs. So instead, we're going to use the entire distance, where we technically should be able to see the other side, which would give us a distance from the quadcopter's location of 29.38 kilometers, or 18.26 miles. It turns out, the average height of of the afsluit dike is about 7.8 meters. Now, if you want to hide the other side behind the curve at a distance of 29.38 kilometers, we need to be at an elevation of 29.57 meters in the air. It seems to be what we're seeing in their picture, apart from the problem it being a bit misty, so we can't actually see the other side. Anyway, and this is the important part. Even if we drop down to about 10 centimeters above the water level, it still only hides about uh, 62.64 meters. So that's a far cry from their 100 seven meters but it gets even better i mean to have 107 meters hidden we need at the very least 38 kilometers and 50 meters which brings us to their 23 miles well 23.6 miles actually but hey uh flurfs don't care for accuracy anyway so i mean it's obvious they completely missed the boat here and contrary to popular belief i i don't do puns now, with us assuming the quadcopter was a little below 30 meters approximately in elevation, let me just throw this on screen to show you guys how dumb that claim was. And to be quite honest, the quadcopter looked to be a bit higher than 30 meters. So I've added a few more values as well, all the way up to the maximum altitude we're allowed to fly here in the Netherlands, which is 150 meters. It should become quite clear that this 107 meters hidden behind the curve is going to be a problem the higher you go. Like it's already a problem for them at a mere 10 centimeters above the water level. But hey, flurfs are gonna play their game of semantics. I'm sure. Also, time for that spiffy picture I was going on about. I mean, look at this. This is a picture. Which also has been taken from uh, quite a high elevation. But hey, elevation apparently doesn't matter in flurf games. 
We can even see beyond the dike. We can even see into North Holland. You know, the province of North Holland. Don't ask, our country is weird. I was wondering when that was gonna happen. Quick one today. Just watched a documentary on this super long sea wall in Holland. At the end of it, it got me thinking. I was like, hmm, I wonder. Yeah, so I thought, let's bang in the elevation stats along that sea wall there. Wait a minute, is that level Earth Observer? What are you doing outside the dungeon? You just wanna reaffirm your justice status? Well, go right ahead, sir. And we didn't even get the graph come up. Don't even get any numbers. Bottom left, all we get is two words. Mostly flat. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's a graph, you freaking idiot. Well, this in this case, there's no need for a graph because it is mostly flat, you know? Uh, it, it's... It, this just baffles me how fucking stupid you people are. Pardon my French. Why would there be an elevation graph if, you know, there is almost no deviation in elevation? And that was an unintentional rhyme. But hey, you want a graph? I can give you a graph. For fuck's sake, man, these Twitter flirts are annoying. <laughs> Three of them together and they combine into almost Mr. Pratt, I don't know. So, h here you go. You know, there's other ways to find stuff. Google Maps is not the only thing ar around. <laughs> Between the two points of reference, we got a distance of 25k, converts to about 15 miles. Break that down according to the globe mathematics, between the two points of reference, there should be a drop of 150 feet. Oh, for fuck's sake, stop using the metric system alongside the Imperials. It doesn't work. Oh, for fuck's sake, man, get back in the dungeon. Also, why the hell are you doing a video on the Afslaat Dyke? Oh, I see. MC Scorpio gets around. He must have gotten real triggered about my stream. Oh boy. So let's get back to Bev and his water level. This is gonna be even more painful, isn't it? I mean, I just had to add these Twitter flurfs. They add up to, you know, maybe Mr. Pratt. I, d I don't even understand. I'm not even sure the, the judgment is gonna go through with Bev. I mean, he is, after all, a Twitter flurf promoted to YouTube flurf. This is a an other um water level test that uh slice barcane is doing he's calling it the bending water level test and what sean uh, sorry <clears throat> what sly has is um 16 i don't know whether there's 15 or 16 there well, didn't you draw this yourself? I mean, there's 15 points of reference there and um, flurfs and accuracy they just don't care do they Um, individual 100 meter water levels. Uh, for fuck's sake. No, Bev, the entire thing is one water level with multiple points of reference. Did you know the amazing thing about that? More reference points means more accuracy. <laughs> for fuck's sake, accuracy and flurves. It's like oil and water, isn't it? Now, um, get this round here. You just have to remember you go a bit quiet when you're facing the um the board. Well, for anybody is that, is that is that better? Perfect. Right. Um for anybody that doesn't know, these this is a water level. It is literally just a big tube with water in it that shows the level um on the uh tube. So if you lift it up it will always equalize to become a level now yeah i i left that in because maybe some flurfs will watch this video and be like hey what the hell is that thing hmm? that doesn't look like my bong so yeah we we know how a level works bev i just have this feeling he's actually explaining it to himself slice bar cane has 16 of these and he's gonna put them like that with 100 meters apart well, no, Bev. He doesn't have 16 individual levels like that. They're all connected to each other, so it's one huge level, which is the entire point of the experiment. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to understand why you don't understand. Um, that would be... Um, he's got 16 of them all the way along, and he's going to cite them. Um, I say that this um they'd just be level all of them they'd just be 16 but 
Slice of Arcane's method supposedly is a bending water level. And I think he's presuming that the, the centers will be higher than the end. No, Bev. The centers will not be higher than the rest. Each individual point of reference will be level to the surface it's on. It doesn't matter if it's bubbly. It doesn't matter if it's hilly terrain. You just have to make sure that the visual points of reference are all lined up so you can see if the actual levels are a bit higher than the horizontal plane. If they are not, it would be a flat plane. If they are, it would be a curved surface. I mean, I'm, I'm left wondering, Beth, if you do not even understand the very basics of this, how are you supposed to actually do this experiment? See, this is what you get when you don't understand what flat is and what level is. I actually did a video on that. Link will be also in the description. Oh boy, that's a lot of links. And um, this... This one won't work. You hear that slide? Oh, for fuck's sake, you're even slow at setting up stuff. Also, don't you see a problem with your uh, individual levels there? And your level with three points of reference? Uh, no, I'm I'm not talking about the minuscule scale involved because that is way, way too small to even do anything, but or rather show anything. However, I'm fairly certain you are going to extrapolate from this tiny little model to the one mile model, and that's not gonna work, Bev. Uh, for fuck's sake, another skill issue. Now, what happens here? This is this level. This is a series of water levels. Now, they've been set up. The initial test was to see you have the green water level that just comes from one side to the other. Now, I say that this, um, this is scalable to any distance because... Well, not exactly. If it is too small, you won't see any difference in the actual elevation issues or the bolts you should be able to detect. So no, a minimum distance should be around one kilometer, and that's even pushing it. The water level from this side to this side will become, uh, will be the same. Um, the contested part is is the center part here. So because it's contested, the hotly contested areas here at the center. We put a tap in the one long water level. I mean, silly to do this, but I mean, certain people require. So you put this tap in. Now, because this is contested area, you need to check the level of the center opposed to the outside. So what you do is you get a, another level here. And you use this level to check this level. I'm just going to get a little bit of water. And even after he's pointing it out, he still doesn't understand that those two individual levels are not similar to the actual level with three points of reference. And what are you doing? Did you, are you going to do what I think you're going to do? This level here, you want this level to be checked at the center. Well, it's not quite the same level. So you, you do is you fill the water up can you see that i don't want to until at the side it's equal there you check that and then you come here and check oh it's the, it's the same level here you, you have you have absolutely no idea why the scale is an important part and why those individual levels are going to show something different at a larger scale I mean, I, uh, tw Twitter flurves. So this level here is the same as the green level. Your tubes are also way too tiny. I mean, at these tiny tubes, you're also going to see some kind of surface tension issue on the sides of the wide. I mean, you are making, I have no words for this. This is stupider than I've ever seen, Bev. And you've done a lot of shit on Twitter, but hell, go back to Twitter. You're not allowed on video anymore. This is too stupid for words. And that's saying something because I've seen a lot of flurves and you are. Well, if the bottom of the barrel is the lowest form, you are like one kilometer below that. And then we'll check this side here. Not quite the same. So, well, 
We'll just add a bit of water in here. There you go. Wait, did I hear that? You're adding water to because it's. <sighs> yep. It's now the same here and the same here. So that is all of these levels checked. They are all on the same horizontal plane. Oh boy, howdy. They sure are, mister. Or are they? Maybe we can't detect it at a small level of scale. But now, before you jump down right throat, that was not a pun. Because, contrary to popular belief, I don't do puns. The, there would be... There's no hump here. This, this one can be checked with this completely independent water level. You just... You just said it yourself, completely independent water level, which is not a point of reference for three points of reference. I mean, what the fuck? How do you even function? Also, you want to know how tiny the bloody bulge would be at about, what is that, one meter apart? How tiny the bulge would be? Well, let me just put up a number on screen. I'm not going to say this number because it's insanely tiny. You can't see that. Now, this insane number is about 19.81 nanometers. Like I said, the surface water tension would be a huge factor in this case. In those tiny tubes, in that tiny distance, you don't understand how tiny this is. And I'm pretty sure you're familiar with tiny. Is at right angles to the direction of gravity. That's another good one as well. No, Beth, we're not gonna play the definition game because it's stupid. No, uh, well, it might be even more stupid than you if... No, that's not possible. You are more stupid than the horizontal definition. Or in other words, I think your brain flatlined. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, you spiffies wanna see what the experiment actually was supposed to be about? All right, let me put this on screen. So here we have targets, and they are visually lined up to each other. Meaning they can be used to measure the potential bulge. Where Bev doesn't seem to fathom that this doesn't work with only two individual levels which are not connected. I'll tell you right now, Bev, you absolutely need a third one in the middle to get a measurement. So your silly double tubes between the three tubes one is just another one of your brain farts that's typical for a Bev of your caliber. I'm just left wondering when you are indeed going to start to try thinking. Now, it turns out that if you're going to do this across one kilometer, we should expect a rise in the middle station of almost two centimeters, or 1.962 centimeters to be exact. Now, that's a heck of a lot easier to work with instead of your 19-something nanometers. So no, Bev, we can't scale down to one meter like you just did and expect something. Now, I found someone who already did the test across one kilometer with three measurement points, and that would be Adrian Chetwind. Now, Bev... Stay with me here. That would mean there's 500 meters between the water level stations. Still hoping Sly will do his test with a station every 100 meters across a mile though, so we can see a more defined curve. Or lack thereof, if we actually do live on a flat earth. Although, if Sly Sparkane will be doing that test, you are definitely going back on the ignore list of everyone. Afterwards, as Sly explained in his latest video, not a link in the description. I mean, we have already put you on the ignore list before for being a repetitive spam bot. I retweeted Sly Sparkane's video, and as you can see, he is done with Bev. If you want to know more about that, just watch his video, because there's a lot of stuff in there. It says, so everyone is going to place good old Bev back on the ignore list, like we did a few months ago, the moment he went mad being starved attention. Good. This time, let's make it permanent. He's even worthless as a flurf, and that's perhaps his only achievement. Guy's view came in, and he says, yep. Then we have anti Salo. He thrives with the attention he gets on Jose's show every day. I'm pretty sure Jose is not gonna adhere to this one. You know, we've got a few people in our community who just love their dumpster fires. So, Beth, are you going to apologize for lying, doxing, plagiarizing images, and being an outright asshole worthy of being punched? No, of course not. That would require you doing some adulting, and we've all seen how much of an immature brat you are, but I've got something for ya. <laughs> so here we have screen grabs. The first station is the top one, the middle station is the middle one, and the, well, final station is the last one, obviously. How strange, it's almost as if the middle one is not on the same horizontal plane. These uh, screen grabs were done by Mick West, taken from the video by Adrian Chetwind. Hey Bev, welcome back to the Globe Earth community. Also, for anyone wanting to see the test in video format, I'll leave a link in the description to Mr. Chetwind's video. 
So be sure to keep an eye out for my upcoming videos and photography showing you more things that will scare and anger flurves using the P1000. I mean, flurves are after all a very easily triggered bunch of numpties and I even think we take you serious. Ah, people not in on the joke. That is, themselves, only makes it funnier. Also, no comment this time. I've already left one and Bev is too damn boring. But a lot of you spiffies wanted me to slap him around for a bit, so I did. It's very amusing to me that I actually had to include low level flurves to add up to a Mr. Pratt. If anything, good old Pratt is a hell of a control for my sillies. And on that note, if you want to see this Bev, Try thinking, become a jester in the order of the sillies, make sure to check out the poll on the community page. And vote for jester to sentence him into the order of the sillies. If however you want to send him back out into the wild, you should vote for silly. Link will be in the description and probably in the chatty bit if I do that quick enough. And mind you, this is a serious request this time around. Let's keep ignoring Bev. It's a lot more fun seeing him starved of attention. However, I do believe this is not gonna happen because some people still see this flurf as a potential video or Twitter target. Even though all he says is level and horizontal is level, level is horizontal, level, horizontal is level. Yeah, just check out Bebo for Live's video. I'm sure you'll get the picture after that. Oh well. We did manage it for a few months to ignore him, only to give in and give him the attention he feeds off once again. All I've got left to say is remember to tickle the bell and all things around it. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Uh, bye bye. Holy hell, this dick flute is a waste of air. <laughs>